Let's show you the highlights. First off, with the men on Saturday, they had the Cedarville Yellow Jackets team. They have not beaten since 2007 in the AMC Conference game. There you saw Jimmy Sherwood. He was out due to a punctured long. TJ Hetherington now out 30 seconds in. Who's going to play guard for this Pioneer team? Cedarville, they wouldn't let up, though. Horner, the deep three early on, 3 nothing. Cedarville started out hot. But the Pioneers, they'd have an answer of their own. Josh Trocchio stepping in for Jimmy Sherwood in his absence. He knocks down the three. But Cedarville again, Austin Foote, you might remember him from last year. Six threes last year. He had a very good one on this one, too, early on. Kashat on the inside, going inside to Douse. That one is good. The bucket plus the foul. Pioneers rolling. Trocchio, the miss from the outside. First half's getting ready to end. Kashat from deep. That one is good as well. 41-38, Pioneers would lead. Robbie Hetherington, the brother of TJ, stepping in for his big brother, knocking down the runner in the short corner. How about some more point part? Trocchio from three. That one is good. They'd have a lead the almost the entire second half, but Cedarville would keep it close. Austin Foote from three. That one is good. Cedarville within three, but then the Pioneers would make a little bit of a run. Off the Trocchio miss. Kashat's on the inside. Misses that one, but Dante Anglin, little turnaround hook shot. That one is good. Couple seconds later, it's Josh Trocchio. Wide open from the top of the key. No one's guarding him. It's good. Ten-point lead for the Pioneers. Coach Eastat, you got to call timeout. There it is. He had some choice words for his team in that break. I wouldn't want to be those players. I don't want to be in that huddle right now. But whatever he said, sure did fire up his ball club. Because out of that timeout, it's Horner from the corner. He knocks down the three. They're cutting down this lead. How about Hickman coming off the bench in this one? A little bit inside out action. Knocks down the trifecta from the corner. They're within four. Three-point game. How about Cedarville trying to tie this one up? Maxwell, the rebound on the inside, goes to Hickman. Austin Foot. who else? Stepping back for three. Ties the game left. 8.5 seconds left. Pioneers, though, chance to win. It's Robbie Hetherington, the freshman. Top of the key. It goes if they win. No. No win in or no win in regulation for the Pioneers. They would go to overtime. Kashat, little spin move going outside the Trocchio. He knocks down the trifecta. That one is good. And how about Joel Kashat? He dished it to play before he steps back for three on this one. The Pioneers get their first win over the Yellow Jackets in almost three years. 99 to 93. Point Park improves to 9 and 4. Joel Kashat, heck of a game for him. 21 points, six rebounds, and seven assists. Harner, though, on the other end, 32 big points there for Cedarville. We're going to bring in Aaron Cooney. Now, Aaron, you were at the game. A heck of a game there between Cedarville and the Pioneers. Oh, it was back and forth the whole game. Uh, Point Park, long, biggest lead of the game was might have been three points the way these teams were playing. And for a team like Cedarville, you know, very different team from what we've seen in the past. Usually you get that big man, that uh, big Jamaican. We've seen center, seven footers the past couple Koto of years. Koto Aliman. Aliman. Haven't seen him. Or He graduates, so, you know, get a little bit of change. They pick it right up with the shooting. That three-point shooting, deadly. Yeah, Horner from the outside with 32 foot had 20 plus points as well. Yes. Cedarville really shot their way into that game. They shot it with 33s, over 33s. That's an unheard of amount for any ball club, but oh. for Cedarville, mm -hmm. they can stroke it from the outside. If 47 from the field ended up making 17 of 47 uh, from beyond the arc there, uh, going throughout overtime, good for about 36 percent. So yeah, they can shoot it. And you look, it's just it's two guys there that really killed the Pioneers, and Horner and Foot. You know. 32 points for Hunter, 21 for foot, all from pretty much beyond the arc. And how about the effort from the Pioneers with TJ Hetherington out in the first 30 seconds? They don't even have Jimmy Sherwood's services for that one. To come away with a victory in that situation really shows how deep that team is. Yeah, you already start in the game, you know, losing your top scorer in Jimmy Sherwood, and then you lose your field general, you know, 30 seconds into the game in TJ Hetherington. And to see the team step up, especially the way. Uh, Robbie Hetherington, just, you know, to get a freshman like that to come in, kind of like showed, you know, there were no nerves there, very calm and cool and collected, much like we saw his brother last year when he was a freshman, and really stepped up in this game and, you know, kind of took over. It is you know, really impressive to see a freshman do that again. And also Josh Trocchio as well, stepping in for sure. Well, this is a guy that started in the past, has really played that bench role, and for him to step up in that situation to really knock down the threes with hands in his face as yeah. well, really showed to be rally stoppers for Cedarville and rally starters for Point Park. Yeah, he's played that role you know, all season, coming off the bench, being that you know three-point threat that the Pioneers desperately needed when they're looking for some points from shooting and getting the start, getting the jump, uh, the nod. And that game Saturday, you know, he go, he goes, he finds his looks. He makes space for himself. We saw that open three from uh, beyond the arc just off an inbounds play. We've seen that. We saw it two or three times that game for him just finding space at the top of the key off an inbounds play. 
and finding those corners. Josh Turkey does a great job of making himself space and also taking the shot. And back to Hetherington for mm -hmm. one more second, too. We talked to Coach after the game. He said it shows how much confidence they have in him, and you saw it there. 8.5 seconds left. Who do they go to? Robbie Hetherington from the top of the key. Going to a freshman, that just speaks volumes of the young man. Yeah, and we saw this beginning of the season, you know, kind of like he would dish off to somebody else, uh, nod off uh, the ball, wouldn't take the shot, a little hesitant with uh, decision making. But yesterday really took the game into his own hands and made, made plays. And for a freshman like that, Piners got some really good freshmen there. And Polot also came in and played some really solid minutes there when the Piners, Piners got into some uh, foul trouble. Oh,